There's not been a day in these past 11 years that I have not woken up and knew that there's something I had to do for the church. That I have to be available for call, that, that I journey with people through the highs and the lows of life. Through the great moments of celebration and in the valley of death. To have to bear the weight of eulogizing members who I love. Of wrestling every week to make certain that I hear from God and bring a word to you. I, I don't stand here and just preach for you what I preached last year. I wrestle with God and it leaves me tired. Now I want you to hear me clearly. I'm not exhausted. I'm tired. There's a difference. Exhausted is right before burnout and burnout is when you don't want to do what you got to do anymore. Hear me. I am not burned out. I'm still excited about this job. I love this calling. Other than being a father, nothing brings me more joy than being the pastor of Alpha Street Baptist Church. I love wrestling with God and standing before you to share with you what thus says the Lord. I enjoy going to council meetings. I love sitting with my deacons and praying about what God has called us to do. I get excited about staff meetings on Thursday. I love going to ministry meetings. I love pastoring this church and I am excited about these next years about what God has called us to do and to build. But in order to lead it I need to be refilled I'm not leaving you this ain't nothing but intermission baby <laughs> I'm tired and I need you to know secondly I feel very distant from God one of the greatest Mistakes of pastoring is to think that because you work for God, you're close to God. That you allow your work to be mixed with your worship. And I feel so distant from God. The Lord is pulling me away. Because I'm in this struggle and I'm not surrendered. And the Lord's trying to change me. Y'all, 50 is coming. And I got to leave some stuff in 40 that I ain't carrying in the 50. The, I just have to walk differently. And in order to do it, I've got to step away. I hear the Lord saying, be still. So I'm going on sabbatical. And everyone I've shared with wants to know, Pastor, what are you going to do?